fight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I only speak of them because I love them for the sake of Allah. Not to make their followers feel good or not to pick them up. I am not anyone to pick anyone up. Allah gives Isa to who He wants. In today's day and time, who we can take a clear example from, someone who I believe is a true hero of Islam, amongst many others, is someone I found in, when I went to Africa, When I went to Africa to visit family again a few years ago, the island that we come from in East Africa, there is a lot of poverty there. And there's a lot of brothers from around the world who come, brothers and sisters who come from around the world, and they do a lot of charity work. Up there, there was a group of brothers who, were, who had come, one of them was from the UK, some had come from Pakistan, others had come from India. But they were sitting in the middle of the jungle where there is a masjid. The masjid is known as Kizimkazi. It's the first masjid to be built in Zanzibar Island more than 900 years ago. That masjid is in the middle of the jungle and it has no electricity there, no running water. There's a well there and people still get water from the well there. But this group of brothers that were sitting there and we went to visit them and I saw that subhanallah they can't even speak the same language as the locals here the local language is speaking is Swahili the brothers who were sitting there with the local brothers can't even speak the same language but they're sitting there with them they're smiling at them and they are teaching them how? through their own example through their own example and then, the brothers who were listening to them, in the over a period of 10, 11 days or so, I said to my cousin, let's go. And we'd go there every day, sit for an hour or so, I'll just watch them. Just looking at them. And these brothers, what they would do is they would take up the Mas'haq of Qur'an al Karim and recite the Qur'an the way it's supposed to be recited. And they will tell the other brothers who were sitting with them, the locals, to repeat it. They would make signs with their fingers. So the brother knew, okay, now I have to repeat. He would say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So the brother would reply, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And they were teaching them Quran. And then they were giving them pieces of clothing and making themselves cover themselves appropriately. But another one was sitting with them at the well and showing him how to make wudu. These brothers are the heroes of Islam in Africa. Who though they can't even speak the same language, they go out of their way to teach the deen, to make sure that Muslims are doing what Muslims are made to do. Worship Allah. Love Rasulullah. These brothers are from the Da'wah of Islam. And when I saw them in the jungles of Africa, Subhanallah. Yaqeenan, Ya Rasulullah, Teri Chahne Baalun Ki Khair. Teri Chahne Baalun Ki Khair. Look how these brothers have left their own motherland, their own mother tongue, sacrificed their time, money, everything, just so they can spread the deen like the Sahabas did. So check, seriously think. For brothers and sisters who are out today propagating the deen, teaching the deen without even worrying about where the next meal is coming from, where they're going to be sleeping tonight. As opposed to us supporting them today and standing by them, we have become that people where we start to look faults in them, look for faults. <laughs> Fear Allah. Fear Allah. Fear Allah. For that individual who teaches the deen to another Muslim, about them, Rasulullah sallallahu said that even the birds that fly in the sky and the 
fishes.com in the rivers in Basa. Even the angels lower their wings from the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and cover the gatherings and start supplicate for those people. And as us supposed to supporting them and standing by them, because they are the heroes of Islam, bro. Trust me. You make your hero sit watching MTV and because you've seen someone who's got a bit of a good voice and he dresses a bit swag up. He's got nothing to do with you as an individual though. He ain't no reach. You ain't no hero of Islam. By Allah, he's got nothing to do with you. Nothing. Nothing. But that man who sacrifices the deen for your sake, so you learn your deen, they're the true heroes. And then they what? They rely upon Allah. And it's not only the brothers of Da'wah Islam. Today we have, alhamdulillah, mediums on TV who are teaching the deen and as supposed to us supporting them and with everything, look, with, as with everything, you get the good and you get the bad. You understand? Ain't nobody perfect, you ain't gonna get 100% gravy from everywhere. But the good that we are getting from fellow Ahmad Sunnah wal Jama'ah brothers and sisters, as opposed to us standing by and supporting one another, we have become those people so wo din ka kaam kar raha hai ha karta to hoga lekin iska amana to dekho ha karta to dekh hoga lekin isne ishar kaun se kar rakha ha karta to hoga lekin iski daadi to dekh but do you not realize is aadmi ki wajah se aaj karoron ki tadad mein log baat baat ke namaz ke baad आज करोड़ों की तादाद में लोग मोहम्मद अरबी सल्लाम के आशिक हो चुके आज अवे कराम के तेबेदार हो चुके आज वही लोग जो एक जमाने में कहते थे कि मिलाद नहीं करना आज मिलाद किए बगैर उनका गुजारा नहीं होना सोचे तो सही think, think seriously, think. Who are the heroes of Islam? Who are the people? Who in reality remind you of Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and who are the people who take you away from the remembrance of Allah and Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Seriously question yourselves and think.